So Rosianna and I are friends reunited because she's been far away in the wonderful city of where do you live? Indianapolis. Indianapolis. That's not a real place. The website Friends Are United recently closed down after I didn't do my research. 20 years? 30 years? 70? It, it was the first social networking site, I think. Um, and it basically, for all you youngins, you connected with like people you went to high school with. I've made a very tenuous link between Friends Are United, the website, and Friends Are United people, the 3D people in front of your eyes, the creakiest chair. <laughs> I've decided that we should talk about like our early presences on the internet and on social media. You mean our social footprint? Our social footprint. Social footprint. <laughs> it's good when videos have no structure. I was on like forums that were specifically for writing like fantasy fan fiction because I remember I was on a role playing forum <laughs> which was for like fairies, so. Well, who did you role play as? Stafara Limonwade. Ooh! I used to go on. Britney Spears forums a lot, and I was in fact a moderator on several forums, so I had extra responsibility, but you also got access to like the secret, like, moderator forum. It was great, and I mean, you know, we were on top of all the latest Britney Spears news. I remember girl.com um, was where I went to, like, girl with a G, with, with a U. Yeah. I was gonna say girl with a G. <laughs> I remember that I always used to go on the girl.com forums to find out stuff about, like, vaginas and periods. I was too scared to ask anyone, because at that point, when you're, like, 13, you don't really have friends you can talk to about that stuff. Yeah. So I very clearly remember just, like, lurking on the forums and waiting until someone asked the question I wanted to ask. Like, is it normal when your vagina does this? And I'd be like, oh my god! I think I asked a question once about, like, periods or something, and I was more mortified and I used like a username that was so far from my real name and I wrote in like text or like hey guys with a z I have this problem <laughs> like in the way that you would talk on I the internet. I did that all the time when I was faking to be Yeah fast. when you're pretending to be someone else. I didn't know about IP addresses back then. So. Oh gosh. No. We met in the chat room of a live stream. Yeah. yeah. And I sent Rosie a message like hey I know one of your friends and she was like great and then immediately like <laughs> closed the chat and I'm like <laughs> Oh god! You'd sent it, you sent it to me twice. The first time I was like, who was this person? I sent it to you, you twice. You sent it to me twice. The second time I'd spoken to the, our co a friend in common in the mm. meantime and then I was like, oh she is actually. I'm real. Yeah. She's real. You verified my realness. I found my Twilight fan fiction. Because basically I had a fan fiction account from when I was really young and I can't find that anywhere. And it had like a comedy Harry Potter one that was about like cheese. The way that I tried to find it was by searching on Google like Harry Potter fan fiction, cheese waltz, snowball fight. Because it was so random. While I was searching for my fan fiction, I also found my old blogs. And now I wrote out all the lyrics to a yellow card song. <laughs> one of the blogs is really upsetting because I started it to try and be a shared blog and there's three posts and one of them's like, I'm starting a shared blog. The next one is, oh, it turns out my friend Celine can't join. Although I call her my poor cheese puff friend because I was really random. That one ends with, I love cheese. And then the th third post is, my other friend can't join. <laughs> Hey guys, if anyone cares, I'm still alive. Mm. I used to write Daniel Radcliffe fanfiction. Rosianna told me that she used to write Daniel Radcliffe fanfiction that was self-insertion. <laughs> It was. As in she inserted herself in the story, nothing because else was being it. inserted. <laughs> so much fiction that we celebrate as like the best fiction ever written by white men is it's self insertion. <laughs> AKA Gary Stu. I realised that my bra's been out the whole time, but let's be adults about this. MySpace was weird because you'd communicate through like bulletins. The other thing that was weird about MySpace was that now you might take like a bunch of selfies and then you pick one and you put it on like Instagram or Twitter or whatever, like yeah, that's the best one. In MySpace days, people would upload whole photo shoots of their selfies so people would upload like all the best ones and I remember I used to do it as well I'd upload like 10 selfies like mirror selfies from a selfie session we used to have like the flash in the yeah mirror. I used to put some lyrics in my MSN messenger username god yeah so that people would know how I was feeling yeah and if there was like a guy I had a crush on I put and even if it was a guy I didn't really know and it was a very vague crush I'd put like really intense like you'll never know I love you kind of lyrics I had a boyfriend when I was like 12. I remember thinking that the sexiest song ever was When You Put Your Hands On Me by Christina Aguilera. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that I had lyrics from that song in my wow. MSN name and my boyfriend at the time must have been like, I don't have pubes yet, please stop. <laughs> just just is. is. Bye guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> Subscribe, this is Rosianna. Go over to her channel, I'll link it in the description. She makes better videos than this. <laughs>